construction on the controversial ART project a little more bearable, free parking. Starting Monday, you won't need your change if you want to park at any of the meters on or around Central. News 13's Rebecca Atkins is live near UNM with a look at this deal. Rebecca? Well, Dean, as you can see, the construction has already started for the ART project, but come Monday, all meters along Central will be free, but that doesn't mean you can't still get a ticket. Central Avenue looks a bit different than it used to. Route 66, you know, it's the heart of our city. This busy road traveled by students and shoppers has turned into a construction site because of the ART, the new bus system with its dedicated lanes. Right now, it's just a little chaotic. And to alleviate some of the frustration, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The city of Albuquerque has decided to help them out. All free parking on anything that has a meter on it. Michael Reardon with the city of Albuquerque says this is an option they've had in the past, often during the holidays. That's really exciting. One that sits well with UNM students and commuters. I really don't like parking downtown because of having to pay. The free parking runs from downtown all the way through Knob Hill but it won't last forever. The city says it will only be good through the fall of 2017 when the project is done a little more than a year from now. That will allow people the opportunity to you know, visit the businesses here in town and, and keep people employed, and I think that's a good thing. The free meters will cost the city a pretty penny. The meters along Central rake in about $436,000 a year. We did hear it from the business owners that that's one of the items that they would like, so that's why we are implementing it. And that doesn't include the money the city will lose from parking tickets for expired meters, but enforcement officers will still be out here ticketing any vehicles that are parked longer than that two hour limit. Dean, back to you. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Now, if you head to KRQE.com or our KRQE News app, you can see the maps showing the locations of those free meters.